Right, just a quick one. This is a sign not far from the start at uh, Cronin's Yard. There's a left turn off the main path and it takes you up to the waterfall that takes you up to the lake that gets you onto the ridge. So it's just turned 8 o'clock on a Sunday, 10th of October. I'm wearing a t shirt. I wasn't expecting to delay this soon. Which one's this? And oh, we're in Big Gum. Bro. <laughs> Broken Spectre! Is it on uh, film? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Many, many. Broken Spectre, the cloud inversion. <laughs> Island delivers. You get this every day up here, apparently. I think looking ahead, I think the hard stuff's over. Oh gosh, it's just a path. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, that's it, we're going to start oh. motoring on. Start smashing it. Yeah. So I think that one there, mm -hmm. in front of this is Karen Tool Hill. Yeah, it looks like there's something on the top of it. And the ones on the back are Cat Hair. Cat Hair and... Uh, cat and Yeah. Cat Food? Something along those cat lines. Cat Food. Cat Food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so off to them, then back at Karen Tool and on to the last two. Oh, this path is nice and easy now. Oh. I should have took some of the scramble really, shouldn't I? Is this Maulan Bui?
Titanic on the front of the Titanic. <laughs> awesome. Wow. This is going to cut out a bit of a corner, hopefully. Cloud. Clear. Cloud. Clear. Very clear. Whew, first look at hers. Ready? Very good. Right, we're on uh, the northwest top of Cat Hill, there's the other one, uh, and you come off the main path to Karen Two Hill early, about 900 metres and traverse your way round. Uh, so yeah, we're five and a, coming up to five and a half hours in, and I think there's still three left to do, so I had quite an early start. Amazing. You can see right over the other side. Slight adjustment, camera adjustment. Look at that map. What a view. To what I guess is the coast, is it? The coast? I don't know. Yeah, fairly quiet compared to the big summit. You can just see the top of Karen Tool and the cross up there. Amazing. And then back across up to the top of that and along the ridge. And I guess that's it. Ooh. I don't know about that. Is that the way down? No, that is definitely not the way down. But, dramatic though. Look at that. That's just between Cahia and Karen Tool Hill. Where are we, honey? Uh, Meadowall Shopping <laughs> Centre. <laughs> Smells like it. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, Karen Tool, highest place in Ireland. Dun dun dun! We're here. We're at Betty's tea room. Somewhere through those clouds is where we're going, so kind of along the ridge there. There's a cat here in the background, and then we're following this ridge down there, down there, down there, down there. And I think that might be the last one before we drop down the saddle in the distance, not in the foreground. Right, here's where the good stuff starts. We good? Ah, uh, forwards! You're good. You're okay. It's safer than it looks. On the other side, there's more stepping bits. Yeah, it's a lot easier as you go on. Yeah, some real scrambling. Oh, beautiful. Don't pull on these blocks too hard, you know, pull on them, but they're not loose, but I don't know. Boy. 
we've so got this. Look at this. We're rock climbing now. Oh, this is wonderful. I did that 50 years ago. <laughs> really? <laughs> you can relive it. I bet you're glad you didn't go back the other way. <laughs> well. <laughs> Let's see, eh? I enjoy it. Loads to get hold of. No idea what's on the other side. Oh, more. Oh, my goodness. Wonderful, isn't it? And there's a big bay out to sea. I think this is another summit. I can't remember what it's called, but yeah. This one after Karen Tool, which is there. And the last one is there, I think. Just up there, and then uh, back down that big long saddle. Ooh, ten summits complete, yay! Are you local, you guys? Yeah, yeah. Nice having this on your doorstep. Right over there is where we came from. Right, we've just come off the top of uh, Knock Brinia. But instead of uh, coming down a boulder field northeast, we just came down northwest instead, which kind of goes against the way you'd think you'd want to go and I'm glad we did it because it was a big steep boulder field but just by coming down the ridge a little bit and I'm not saying it was easy we've managed to hit a track which turns northeast and uh, goes over towards Knock Brinier which is the way off and personally I thought that was safer and quicker so if that's useful there you go Let's see how close the letters get they're the ones I think they are, they absolutely stink. I don't know, the ones in uh, Wales, you get near to them and they just smell like death. And you don't even have to be that near to them, but... but yeah, those two seem... I don't know, fairly chilled out. Hello goats. Goat curry? No, no, not into that. He's off. Right, we've just taken another turn in Bearing. We've just uh, kind of got to the end of the, what is it? The Bean Kerra Ridge. Uh, and it drops off quite steep if you continue going east. So at the end of the ridge, we've taken a turn south on more reasonable ground and we can see the track in the bottom, which uh, we join up to get back down. So. Uh, there's a bit of a turn in, in direction. Oh yeah. Oh, geez, geez. Yeah, just come down that. I'm oh, pretty horrible that. Yeah. Only about probably barely half an hour, but felt like an eternity. But yeah, nice. Look at that. One path. Here we go. Nearly done. Right then, just got back to Cronin's Yard. I reckon we've been out about nine and a half hours to the whole thing, and that's uh, with two stops, about 40 minutes for both. 
Um, so we've gone fairly light. Uh, waterproofs, map, compass, litre of water, half a, half a litre hot drink in a flask, bit of toilet roll, the important bit, hip flask, the summit. Uh, and in a dry bag, insulated jacket just in case, a few snacks, hat, emergency bag. Let's start using this now. Just in case, and it's just a foil blanket that kind of goes around you and uh, reflects your heat back if it gets a bit messy. And a pair of gloves, much of which we didn't use because it was boiling today, which is unseasonal for October. But there you go, yeah. Uh, wonderful day, and nice to get back.